Welcome. This is Chris from the Craps Couple, and today we're going to continue on with the Come Out Hedge. This is going to be session six, and we started with session one with a $600 bankroll. Today, we've got $1,212. That's how we ended session five, and we're going to continue on with the Come Out Hedge. The way it works is we put $40 on the don't. We put an $18 six and an $18 eight. We go ahead and pick up a, we're gonna pick up a four for $160. And then we're going to pick up an $8 seven, any seven. We could hop this, I mean, this is nine. Uh, if we had nine, then we could do three, three and three, it'd be better odds but I'm just gonna stay consistent. I know that I've seen some comments on the uh, comments page and it would pay better. So if you're doing this at the casino, then to get a better odds for you on that seven, you could hop the four, three, five, two, and the six, one. We're also going to pick up a $3 yo. We are gonna add that and we're going to pick up a $1 midnight. We have $160 here. We want to go ahead and protect us for at least one way. So I'm going to put $30 on the hard four, which is going to give us a $210 winner if we was to hit that. All right. So here we go. Dice route. Nine. Centerfield nine. So nine is going to be the point. The uh, What we lose is we lose the eight and we lose the uh, box cars and the 11, which is. $12. We're going to go ahead and take the lay bet down and the hard way down. And now we have $40 don't. We got $36 out there. We're looking for a six or an eight. And there's a six. So that's going to be a $21 winner. Remember, the whole point of this is to try to get built up enough to where we can get on the field. Now we're going to rack the six bucks. I picked up the five because I want the place bets that aren't on the field and there's the five so that's going to be a 21 dollars winner so we are now going to spread this out just like that and now we are in the place to where a field bet makes sense but we're going to rack that five right now we got to get one more hit for it to really make sense for us and there's a five all right so that's going to be a 28 dollars winner this is where it starts making good sense i'm going to go ahead and pick up the six for 30, pick up a $15 field bet. And I've got an, right here, I've got seven bucks left. So I might as well just go ahead and pick up the eight a little bit bigger. So we're gonna go $30 on the eight. So I had to change that up. So there we go, we're set up. This is a great board right now. All right, until we get a nine. So we do lose the 40. We went $15 on the field. And because we don't know what the table's doing yet, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna regress. We're gonna regress this down and we'll just get back up the same way. Don't remember if we hit a, a four or a 10 there, which is usually what I'm trying to pay attention to to see if we need to go ahead and pick up the four or the 10. If the, the 10s were hitting, I would probably hit the 10. I would probably go ahead and get on the 10, but if the four is hitting, I'd do the same thing. If it's happening repetitively, then I would probably walk away because if the fours and the tens are, are really in that sequence of events where they're really smacking you down, then you probably want to consider walking away from this strategy. But so far, so good. We're at $160, lay that four, $30 hard four. Same bet, again, you could hop this. It makes sense, it makes really good sense. You should do that. Just gonna keep it consistent the way we had it. I'm gonna get a $3 yo and a $1 midnight. Same shooter, same dice, dice route. Two craps, aces in both places. So that's gonna win 40 down there, but we have four and eight. We got $12 that we're going to lose there. So 12 minus that is gonna be 28 bucks. So a $28 winner, it's a nice win. Leave everything set up. Eight, eight easy. Eight's gonna be the point. 
we'll lose the 12 bucks and we'll go ahead and put the lay bat back in a rack and take the hard way down as well. And we do get paid $21 on that eight. Now this is not the optimum scenario. I mean, the eight is a pretty, pretty easy number to hit. We're gonna rack 13 here to just go ahead and make us break even if we was to get a seven at this point. And there's a four, that's an easy four, something to pay attention to. Again, we're not setting dice, so we're just looking at, there's a 10. So we got a couple of fringe numbers now that's hit, six and a four. And another four. So the four and the, the tens are hitting strong right now. And there's a five. That's going to be a winner for us. It's going to be a $28 winner. We'll go ahead and bump the six up to 30. And we got 20 on that five already. I mean, when we've already racked up some money, we're in the, in the black right now. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and we're going to move that five up to $25 and rack the other two. So we're in the black. Dice are out. Five. All right. So that's a $35 minus the 15, which is going to be a $20 winner. Rack that. And a six. Six easy. That again is going to be 35 here minus the 15 there. $20 winner. Rack that up. Let's move this over. Make some more space. And dice are out. A seven out. All right. So not bad. Not bad at all. So we got pretty good hits there. We did lose our, we lost 30 bucks that we had out there, but we won 40 down there. That's a definitely the kind of scenario that we would like to have every single time. So that's a loss of the dice there. We're going to get back up on the six and the eight for 18 each. And, you know, we had some fours and we had a 10, but I'm going to go ahead and try the four again. The fringe numbers were hitting. And I'm going to, again, pick up the hard way on that four because I, I don't even think we've seen a hard way, which is fine. And the eight. And $3 on the yo. $8, seven. New dice, new shooter. Again, we're going to try to keep this down to 20 minutes. Eight hard. Hard eight. That's good. It's going to be a loss of the 12 bucks here. But we turn around and we're going to win. Let me put the hard way up and the lay bet up. It's going to be a $21 winner. Again, it's not the greatest number, but who knows? You could go with a no eight roll right here. It could happen. It could literally happen. We're rack 13, so we're in the black right now. That's good. Six, six easy. That's good. That's going to be a $28 winner. So that's exactly what we're looking for. Again, we'll bump that up. Go ahead and pick up 15 in the field. And we'll raise this five up to 25. Now we're set. Dice route. Yo, yo 11. So remember, we let the field feed the place bets. So I'll pick up the nine. There's a 10, it's a fringe number. It's a good thing to pay attention to. Go ahead and at uh, this point, let's pick up the five, the six and the nine. The inside number's just a little stronger. And there's a nine, center field nine, that's good. So we're gonna win two places here. We win $28 on the place bet and we win 15 on the field. So that's a big win. And what we're going to do is we're going to rack the 28 and we're going to take this and pick up, let's pick up the four and dice route and a seven out. So not exactly ideal, but you know what? I'll take it. We rack some money there. And, uh, you know, if we had hit the point eight, we would have been able to regress. That's the whole rules of this strategy is regress after the points hit, but we're still going in the right direction. So that's going to be a loss of the dice there. Um, I think I saw a 10. Not 100% sure, but we're going to try it. We're going to go ahead and lay the 10 this time. Go ahead and hedge the 10 for that 30 bucks. Get a single unit on the 6 and the 8. It'll be $18 6, $18 8. Go ahead and pick up the... Seven for eight. 
And yeah, let's pick up the yo and the midnight. We haven't hit that yet. All right, here we go. New shooter, new dice. And dice route. Nine, center field nine. So made it through again on our lay bet. We did lose our 12 bucks. But now we've got we've got a lot of ways to win. We got 16 ways to win right now. Nice route. Of course, we like to hit it just like that. We really want to hit it like that so we can get some get some playing time. Um, and that's going to be, let's go ahead and raise that five up. So now we got five, six, eight, and seven. Shouldn't have said seven. Shouldn't have said seven. Bummer. All right. So not the best way to end that. But it's not bad. It's not bad. We lost a little bit of money there, but, you know, that's going to happen. So uh, that's what it is. It's a game of chance, right? All right. So the 10 is still going to be our number right now. I'm going to go ahead and lay it again for 60 or 160. Pick up that hard 10 and then pick up the yo, pick up midnight, pick up the six, pick up the eight, 18. An 18 and a again we could hop that but we're not we're just going to play it out new shooter new dice here we go dice route seven seven out all right so we're gonna do the, oh forgot to move with that that shouldn't have been there all right so we're gonna look at this again because i do now have a 160 and that's going to be a 76 dollars plus um eight four thirty two so that is $108 here. This is 36, 76, 106 plus four. Again, we lose two bucks. All right, and dice route. So I've heard that the seven needs to be a winner. I get it. So I got $3 down there on that yo. So we lose, we lose $9 here. We lose $49 here. Three times 14 is going to be 42. So we get a little bit back, but it's a loser also. So I probably need to bump that up to $4. So that's what I'm going to do on the next one. So we'll put 40 down there. Go ahead and put our $8 here. So if I do this, we know we're going to be down. If we hit a big red. Another buck. Instead of losing two, we're going to lose three. Three craps. So now we're 13 here. We're 40 here. So that's $27. $27 winner. We'll leave everything set up. Keep it easy. Lots of rolls on the come out. All right. And there's a point. Point's going to be six. So lose the 13 here. Point's going to be six. Move the lay bet back up. Remember, we started this session with $1,212. Got $21 winner here. It's not the greatest scenario right in the middle of the five and the eight, but we won't risk as much this time. We're going to go ahead and rack the 13 here, and that way we're in the black coming out on this particular session. All right, and there's a six, and that's why. Don't like that six. So $40 loss here. Go ahead and regress down to make that right. Again, choppiness. I like go ahead and get my winnings where I can when uh, things aren't going great. And we knew that wasn't going to go, or at least it felt like it wasn't going to go great. And guess what? It did not. But that's okay. It happens like that sometimes. So we got $8.07. We know that's not going to hurt us. That's the whole point here. We don't want to be hurt. We want to stay in the game for that mega roll or even a semi mega roll. I don't know if we hit a four yet, but I know we haven't hit a 10 and I'm beginning to get a little nervous. So I'm changing it to the, I'm going to change it to the four and we're going to pick up the hard way. I'm going to see if that's the right call. Dice are out. Three, three craps. I think that is 13 minus the 40. It's going to be $27 winner. Rack that up and dice are out. Four. Bad decision, bad decision, bummer. Should have stayed on that 10. Man, should have stayed on it. That's all right. So here we go, point's gonna be four. I got 40 down here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw 100 down, put 140 right there, just to make sure that we 
do make some money. If it hits the hard way, we're going to go this way and dice route. Big red's going to be, ooh, that's what we want. That is what we want. We had 36 plus the 25 out there. That's $61 down here. We have a $40 winner plus 50 on that 100. So definitely the right decision, the right outcome that we wanted. We'll take it. And all this goes up. You know, the hard way would have been nice too, but you know, I, I prefer that to happen. So we're going to go one more, one more roll here, one more shooter, unless they're really, really fast. Let me get some change on this. But, um, right now I think we're doing okay. I don't think we, I think we're hitting that four just a minute ago, crushed our dreams of having a good positive roll this time. So that's kind of bad. But, you know, that's the way it could happen at the table. So it's important that I show what can really happen. Not that you know, we're not trying to do multiple sessions until we win. And that's the video that gets posted. I really want to post what really happens. So now we've got a box cars and we got a four dollar yo. And here we go. Dice are out. Let's see what happens here. Not again. Now we're definitely negative. A four, of course, of course, a four, exactly what we didn't want. So now I got 40. I'm going to go ahead and go 120, not going tilt, you know, just want to give ourselves a chance. So we're going to go 120 on that. That's going to be 160 out there. Again, that covers us, but I'm at the point right now, if we got 160, we probably need to go ahead and start putting some money out here a little bit. See if we can get on a roll. All right. Dice route. Nine. Center field nine. So we're going to let the field feed. We're not racking yet. Got to rack those place bets. Four. Four easy. And that is a time where you walk away. Right there. That just happened. So we just had some big detrimental hits that really crushed us really did so now you're in the come out hedge series and this is really terrible time right now so we're going to go ahead and try it we're going to go with a 40 here i'm going to go ahead and increase my lay bet i'm going to put it up to 300 that four has been hot i think it's done so 300 there i'm going to go with a 50 dollar $50 hard for, I'm going to pick up a $30 six and a $30 eight. And because I got 150 right here, now I got 60, 110. Of course, 150 minus, you know, 15 bucks would be 130, no, 145, 135. So it'd be a $135 winner. So if a seven happens, we got 40 loss here. We got 90. We got another 60. So we're at 155. We're going to lose some money, but we're going to try for it this time. We got to go. We got to make it happen. So seven, that's what happened just now. Seven. So we lose the 60, 110, 150, and we only have 135. So we lost 15 bucks. I'm not hedging the seven. Just back out there. Aces in both places. That's going to be a $40 winner. So we won that back. Dice route. Another seven. We lose 15 bucks. And dice route. Nine. Center field nine. Okay. So we didn't, didn't get that going yet. Now we're just looking for the six or the eight. And there's a four easy. Good thing I took that down. That four has been hot. There's an eight, $35 winner. So we're going to pick up the five. We're going to go ahead and pick up the field. I invested another five for the field. We're going for the hot shooter. Hopefully it's happening. 35 is going to be a $20 winner. We're going to rack that. So hopefully this is it. This is the moment. Nine, not to be, not to be. So there's a nine. We lost or don't. We won on the field. 
but um, we are now we're now struggling. So I am going to do this. We're going to turn this off. I'm going to pull this down. So we're off there. I got forty dollars. Just trying to keep that money out there. Seven out. Seven out. So we lose the forty here. Should have hedged a little bit. Might do that this time. So there's forty. And because I've got those off, I don't have to hedge everything. So we're going to go for a hundred and let's see. I'm only going to hedge a little bit there. Dice route. Hard eight, eight hard. Eight's going to be the point. Rack this, rack that. We're going to move this. Let's go ahead and pick up the field for 15 and pick up the six. For 60, and that's the point. And dice are out. Seven out. Not to be. Not to be. All right, so that's it. We did not do very well that session. That did not happen very well. We started out with $1,212 on this session. And I can tell you from what I'm seeing right here, we got 500. There's 600, so we know we lost a lot. There's 700. And 750. 775. 780. 783. So went down to $783. This is a tough, tough run. So we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. That is session number six, I believe. And we're going to go ahead and try a number seven. So if you like what you see right here, this is the way it works out. This is the way it rolls. We play it like it is. We see what happens and that's what happened. So I'm going to start back up to the true come out hedge strategy for the next session. Thanks for watching. See you next time.